Hey everyone, it's Nash Walk Steve here. The project we've got going on here this next few weeks is building some landscape uh, terrace style steps going up the side of our house. We've got an incline going up from the walkout basement to the driveway and it's always been a place where it's not very safe to walk and it can be slippery when it's wet out and that sort of thing. So we're going to put these steps in here and I apologize for starting without you all. I just wanted to figure out how I'm going to do it. I had a rough idea and now that I've done two steps I can kind of explain the process we go through. Um, for now, I'm going to go through the tools that I use for this. Um, I've got some rebar stakes that I'm using to attach these to the ground. I'm using some 5 16 by 6 inch long SPAC screws, which work really well for uh, attaching these double 4x4s, which is everything's built out of double 4x4s. Uh, a couple different types of shovel, a level, a level and tape measure. And then for, before I put the rebar in, I'm using this um, wood auger bit to drill through the four by fours and then pounding in the um, rebar with the backside of my mall. And then we have a tamper here too for filling these at the end with gravel. We're gonna wanna tamp it all down so it's nice and firm. Um, other things, general carpentry type stuff, I've got a square here as well and some spray paint for marking out the area for kind of roughing in where the stairs are gonna go. Uh, for now, we're gonna start with the third step. Um, so I'll show you how we start that in the next clip here. Okay, so the next step is gonna go right here. And the first thing I need to do is dig a small trench for the um, back part of the stair to go. Uh, it's gonna be level with this surface here. I'm just gonna dig it back with this little uh, kind of a trenching shovel I have here. It's perfect, it's just a little wider than a four by four. Um, and then I'll, I'll get that a little bit beyond level and then I'll use some gravel to fill it up and do the fine tuning on it so I can lay that in place. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll cut a trench for each one and then I'll show you how we get that set and nice and level. Okay, so I got my trenches dug for the next um, step. So what I said I want to do is get it a little bit past level. So if I stick it on the end of this 4x4 and down there, it shows that I'm highest here. So that's good. I want to put a little bit of gravel in the bottom for leveling. And then what I do is I dig back until I have a 7-inch wall back here because two of these 4x4 stacked up is exactly 7 inches. And that's how I'm setting this up to be so each riser starts um, flush you know, where the ground is on this side. On that side, I'm filling a little bit. but. Um, so measure back here to this wall, which is, I'll show you, just at seven inches there to the, to the grass. And it looks like I'm going to go with 30 inches here because each step, um, the tread portion of it, I'll call it, is going to overhang onto this by a half inch. So it'll be supported by the step underneath it. And then the riser in front of it will go three and a half inches in front of that. So if I use 30 inches, I'm going to just land on this back tread, the back of this tread here. And that'll give me some good support. So I'm gonna go cut four 30 inch um, four by fours and that will be my next um, tread. And then I can put together a riser that I've already pre-assembled. I'll show you how I got those ready too. All right, so I put some gravel in this trench here, just enough to get it kind of level. Took my level on here and saw that we're just a little high in the back over here, which is fine. So I kind of use these as a tamper as I do this. Um, so I like to set it kind of about a half inch on here and just kind of hit it down into the ground. Makes a nice flat surface for it. And then we end up being right on with level there. So do that with both sides so they're nice and level. Um, and then we'll put this front in place, the riser. And I'll show you what I did here. Um, so we're making these three feet uh, wide. So I went and bought a whole bunch of six foot four by fours, cut them all in half um, so I can make all these risers. And then I just simply attached them with two of these six inch SPAC screws. So that's going to be what we use for the riser. Um, and then just talking about how many you need, what I did was just some rough surveying here of my lowest spot and my highest spot. Um, and I came up with about 84 inches that I needed to go up. Um, and then I knew that my risers were going to be seven inches high. So 84 divided by seven is 12. I mean, I mean they want to have 12 
steps essentially going from bottom to top. So based on that, I could buy my materials, knowing that each riser is one four by four, six footer, and then the ones going back are also about that. So each step itself is gonna be about three six foot four by fours. So I'm gonna need, you know, 36 or more. So I went and I got 40 um, of these. So that should be enough for most of the project. As we get closer to the end, I may have to, you know, buy a little more or turn some, but it's gonna be a close estimate. So we're gonna go ahead and get both these set and then we'll attach this riser onto the tread pieces. All right, so we got those laid in there as they're gonna be. Um, the two stacked tread pieces and then this riser that's already pre-built. So they're just gonna line those up. Like I said, we're overhanging the tread on the tread below it by a half inch. So we'll butt this up to that, keeping that half inch overhang. And then we're gonna go ahead and use these screws to put this, put this in place. Um, take note that a, a cordless drill, it may not be enough power to drive these in. I tried it with mine. I have two different ones, a 12 volt and a 20 volt. And it was hard on both of them, really hard on them. Um, so I'm using a corded drill for this. Uh, these are pretty tough ones to drill in. So we're gonna go ahead it helps to have someone stand on these while you're doing it so they can't shift while you're putting these screws in. Um, but we get one in here and here and over here and we'll be pretty close to having this thing secure. And the next thing we'll do is anchor it into the tread below it with rebar. Okay, now that we have the screws in holding the stair all to itself, uh, we're gonna anchor this stair down into the one below it. So I use this wood auger bit um, to do that, it's not quite 14 inches long, so I get it down as far as I can. And then we pound the rebar through that hole. Um, it takes a lot of pounding because you have to pound that last probably inch or half inch through the wood, but it goes if you pound hard enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill two of these and take note when I put the screws in, I actually went a little bit off center. So I have room for the auger to take the, for the rebar to go down on the other side. So they're kind of each, a third, like a third in this way is where the screw is and about a third in this way is where the um, rebar is gonna go. So we'll go ahead and drill that up. All right, so once I finally got that hole straight up and down, uh, we can now put in the rebar. So I've got these rebar stakes like this. I just stand on it when I start so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I kind of get lower and pound upward on it or uphill a little bit, makes it easier. But... Those last few pounds were us going through that last bit of wood that we weren't able to drill through. But do the same thing over to the other side here. All right, so I got both of those rebars in so that thing is anchored to the one below it nice and sturdily. Uh, so step number three is complete, except for the filling that's gonna happen at the end. So now the process is just gonna repeat what I showed there. We'll do the same thing now. Start level with the back end of that tread and dig into the ground until you're seven inches deep into the earth. And that's where you measure for your next uh, where your next tread's gonna go, we measure for that. Um, so let's keep doing it, keep going uphill, three down and nine more to go, it looks like. Uh, maybe a little more, because we're gonna turn up and up there and uh, go up to the deck. But uh, and then the last thing we'll do at the end, and I'll show that when we get to it, is filling these with gravel and using the tamper there to pack it down nice. And we, we're gonna see what kind of material we end up using, but it may be a combination of gravel for compaction and maybe a P-Rock or something that's more easy on the feet if there's gonna be barefoot traffic on here. So um, I'm gonna keep on working on this, going uphill. I'll uh, take a few pictures of it as I go and throw those in the video here so you can see the progress. Okay, here we are on day two with the stairs project and uh, we had a gully washer last night of a storm. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about drainage because it has been on my mind since we had that storm last night. Um, something to consider and I think change I'm going to make is I was kind of just wasting some of the um, material I was digging out for the trenches into these 
squares for the steps. And so I've got a lot of kind of clay, clay topsoil, I guess I'd call it in here. And upon thinking about drainage, I realized I should make sure that I've got a, a soil backfill that's gonna drain well, so I don't make a whole series of pools here um, if these things fill up with water. So I wanna use some sort of backfill that will allow water to percolate down through and drain out the bottom. So I'm gonna actually today, it won't take long, just dig out this bit of um, topsoil in here that, that, that you know holds water pretty well. And I'll make sure I'm backfilling it with, the, with uh, some, I've got a little bit of fill sand, I'll use that. That in conjunction with the gravel should be enough um, uh, enough to let the water drain through and get out of here. So other than that, everything held up well overnight with the rain and actually, you know, where I backfilled in a little bit, um, the rain sure did a good job of packing that in and settling that soil. So that seems to be working okay. So today we'll do that and we'll continue working on the stairs and keep moving our way up. And there we have it. Took some of that fill sand and used my eight inch by eight inch tamper here and just pack some sand in there on the bottom just one bucket load for now but that will at least allow any future rains here to drain right through and make their way out to the yard without filling up pools in the stairs Okay, folks, here's a picture, a view of the steps from the top down. We made a six foot uh, platform here and we're gonna make a couple more steps going up to that deck there, just two more steps. But for now, um, I'm going to do some backfilling here so these steps are nice and solid, um, just in case any weather comes, that sort of thing. I'm gonna get this all kind of buttoned up here. I've got a you know starter truckload of just some fill sand here that I'm gonna start casting in here just to get this started. I don't want that to be what the surface is on the top. I wanna to use something a little more robust, but um, we're gonna start filling this now. Get a uh, truckload in here. It's gonna be a few more of these, I think, but it's a start. So we'll keep filling this up and uh, eventually when we get a little more time, we'll put those final two steps in there as well. All right, so we got to the landing up here. Um, I showed you that a little bit earlier. What we did is we, I just put a couple um, rebar anchors in each corner here just to keep it you know, secure to the ground so if it gets bumped with a lawnmower or something, it's not going to move at all. Um, and then we're going to go up to the deck here. So we did the same kind of measurement as we did before. We took the height from the top of this landing box that we made here and, and measured that to the top of the deck there that we're going to meet up to. And it just happened to be 21 inches, which is perfectly divisible by 7. So it means we're going to have two steps up if we, you know, come to that deck 7 inches lower than it. So that'll be the final step. So. That was really fortunate. Otherwise, we'd have to cut down, um, you know, the, these tops some de to some degree to make them custom fit to make even steps going up, or have one shallow step at the top and two regular steps. But we got the first step into place here on the way up. We have one more to do, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and probably just anchor the, the tread pieces into the deck that we have there with some um, exterior screws, that sort of thing, so make, to make that secure. But we should be sitting on some solid packed gravel, so it wouldn't be going anywhere anyway. But. Um, that's where we're at right now. I'll give an update when we're closer to being done. All right, folks, this is the somewhat finished version of these stairs here. Went ahead and got them all filled up. Um, I filled them with a black sand. Uh, you can do a gravel, you can do a pea rock, whatever you feel is suitable. I use a black sand because it's easy on bare feet, but I don't know if I like it that much because it ends up being kind of messy. Some of it spills out, you can see there on the sides. So I may skim that top, you know, inch or two off and put some gravel in there just to hold it in a little better, give it a cleaner look, but that's the project. Um, I hope it helps you if you're doing something similar. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Um, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching.